of the Powhatan County government complex were closed today as protesters rallied outside the courthouse for several hours over what they say was a hate crime against a teen boy back in 2020 and how it's been handled. Our Cameron Thompson was there and tells us what the protesters are saying and what authorities say they have done so far. What do we want? Justice! When do we want it now? Several dozen rallied outside the Powhatan County Courthouse Thursday. To show support for a Chesterfield teenager they say was the victim of a hate crime in 2020 and to criticize how they say the case has been handled by law enforcement. Demand they do their job. That's it. The family says 18-year-old Jerry Chambers, who was 16 at the time of the alleged incident, was at a house party in September 2020. At some point, they say Chambers passed out and had racial slurs and swastikas drawn on his face and had a Confederate flag draped over him as he was hunched over a toilet. Supporters held posters of those photos at the rally while the family talked about the toll this has taken. This hate crime has been traumatizing to our entire family. We are seeking justice and we want justice now. As to what's happened with the investigation since, the Powhatan County Sheriff's Office and the family differ. The department says the parents came to them September 14th, 2020, but were unsure if they wanted to file a report and express concerns about the legal process. The department adds they set up follow-up appointment the next day, but the family didn't show, and when they were contacted two more times, said they didn't want to file a report or proceed with a criminal investigation. The department says the family returned December 3rd, 2021, saying they did want to file a report and launch an investigation. The department says they investigated but couldn't bring charges because the statute of limitations had passed for misdemeanor assault and battery. But the family disputes this. No. We've came seeking for justice since September of 2020. The family says they expressed fear for their safety initially but deny saying they didn't want a report filed. As for the return in December 2021, a family advocate who started helping the month before says she told them to go request the original police report so they could complain to the FBI about a lack of progress, but they were told there was no initial report. The family says they've since filed a complaint with the FBI. But the agency didn't say if an investigation into Powhatan's handling is underway. After an hour of speeches, tensions grew as some protesters went over to the Powhatan deputies and state police watching from across the street, and this exchange happened with a state trooper. Be quiet if that was your child. You're very well, probably not. Hopefully, You're very I, probably not. I would raise my child so they wouldn't be in that situation. Wow, really? When that exchange got back to those at the rally, it prompted the alleged victim to speak for the first time, criticizing what was said, and then naming and addressing the people who he says did this to him. Y'all know y'all were wrong. When asked about the exchange, a Virginia State Police spokesperson said they had no comment at this time. As to where things go from here, the Sheriff's Department says to ensure all avenues were explored, they turned the case over to the Powhatan Commonwealth's attorney and the FBI. Powhatan Commonwealth's attorney requested a special prosecutor and Petersburg was appointed by the court. Both Petersburg and the FBI say they continue to investigate and can't comment as it's an ongoing case. Meanwhile, the Chambers and their supporters say they will continue to push the issue. We'll be speaking out on behalf of this family and if we don't get results then, you know what we're going to do? Protest again and again.